Welcome to Trek Zone Plays. Matt Miller with you at Trek Zone HQ. Well, we've come to where we must inevitably end up the final episode of my playthrough of this fantastic 1995 game from Spectrum Holobyte. You've read the title on YouTube, you know what's coming. It's the final part of retrieving the Unity device here on Star Trek The Next Generation's a final unity. This is a fantastic game. I'm so thrilled to have brought this to you on our second season of Trek Zone Plays. Throw the opener, have a quick ad break, and dive straight into 100% gameplay with no commentary. Retro games with no commentary. This is Trek Zone Plays. Sensors are unable to penetrate the device structure, but gravimetric analysis indicates that it is probably hollow. Can you find a suitable location to beam an away team into the device? Sir, I do not advise using the transporter. Why not? The device does not fully exist in this time continuum. The temporal boundary surrounding the device would disrupt our transporter signal. Keep searching. There must be some way into the device. The sensors are also picking up a large quantity of debris around the device, as well as significant residual radiation. The debris appears to be the remnants of several Romulan and Chodak vessels, possibly the result of a battle. I do not detect any survivors in the vicinity. The Gradian Warbird is uncloaking. It is the Asurum. We are being hailed. On screen. Greetings, Captain Picard. Captain Pentara. It appears that the Romulan and Chodak fleets have destroyed each other. Not exactly. From what I've managed to piece together, it seems that when the two fleets began shooting, it triggered the Unity device's defenses, which destroyed them both. I suspect that anyone foolish enough to discharge their weapons near the device would suffer the same fate. Then it appears that we both have incentives for peace. How is the situation back on Garrid? Not good. Revolutionaries have seized control of Garrid in the name of the Fifth Scroll. Anyone who questions their actions is executed as an enemy of the people. I wish I'd never set my eyes on that miserable parchment. So, what are your intentions here? I intend to win the Unity device for Garrett. It will take a miracle to restore order to my world. Perhaps this device can supply one. Captain, vessel approaching bearing 161 Mark 204 on an intercept course. It is a Chodak dreadnought. Shields up! Red alert! We are being hailed. On screen. Well, Captain Picard, you humans are more resourceful than you appear. Prepare to die. The Dreadnought is arming weapons. They have locked onto us. They are closing. Evasive maneuvers. They did not fire. I do not understand. Sensors indicate that their systems are functioning normally. I sense hostility, but also deception. Were they bluffing? Trying to get us to fire first? Captain, we have just intercepted a transmission between the Dreadnought and the Unity device. It is a coded binary signal. The transmission is opening a large access port on the surface of the device. The Dreadnought has launched a shuttlecraft. It is heading towards the access port. The Garidian vessel is also launching a shuttlecraft. Mr. Worf, assemble a security team and meet me in Shuttle Bay 3. Data, you're with me. You have the bridge number one. Captain, I must... I know what you're going to say, Will, but I'm not going to stay here and let those people decide the fate of the Federation for us. Understood, sir. Good luck. Sir, according to the ship's sensor reports, both the Garidian and the Chodak shuttlecraft landed nearby. I see no signs of either landing party, Captain. We'll have to find out which way they've gone. They have superior knowledge of the device and a head start. It's one of several planetary bodies orbiting the Unity device. Stop. 
That circle on the floor looks suspect. You are correct. The pad is the focal point of a transporter. Anyone stepping onto the pad will be beamed to a receiving station elsewhere in the device. I should go first in case the Geridians or the Chodak are waiting in ambush. of my team. My phaser and tricorder are gone. I'm not certain what it is. Welcome, Welcome Jean-Luc Picard, Picard, chosen representative of the United Federation of Planets. You have done well so far. If you prove yourself worthy in these final tests, the Unity device will be yours. Where is my away team? Whoever it was is gone now. I have examined the shuttle. It will only launch with three passengers. Captain Picard! Where is my away team? We don't know. Our team also disappeared when we went through the transporter. Their fates are insignificant compared to the matter before us. If they have died, at least it was for a good cause. What do you know about these tests? The Chodak rebels who sent the Unity device into the future set up a number of tests to ensure that whoever found the device was worthy of its power. It appears that we have been chosen to compete for the device. Neither the Geridians nor the Federation has any claim to the device. It rightfully belongs to the Chodak. We shall see. It seems to me that we are all on an equal footing here. For the moment, this shuttle will take us to the Unity device control complex. to know more about the tests we face. I do not know exactly what form they will take, but trials and tests have always determined rank and position in Chodak society. How powerful is the Unity device? It can alter physical reality anywhere in the galaxy. The wreckage of the Romulan and Chodak fleets clearly demonstrates its potential as a weapon. Its capabilities are infinitely greater. Theoretically, the Unity device could be used to unmake the galaxy. And it would indeed be a catastrophe if it fell into unscrupulous hands. Unscrupulous or incompetent, even a well-meaning master could wreak havoc with its power. What do you intend to do with the device, if you should get it? The ancient Chodak brought this power into the universe, and we accept that responsibility. We will rebuild the Chodak Empire and control the Unity device ourselves. Viridian society is on the verge of anarchy. It will take something as powerful as the Unity device to restore order. Our need outweighs your fantasy of empire building. And you, Picard? The Unity device is too powerful for any one race to control. It must be used for the common good. Perhaps its power can help establish a lasting peace between our peoples. You speak of my fantasies, Pentara? We are about to dock. May the worthiest species prevail.
check the far door. You two check the others. Your words made much sense to me, Picard. You and I should work together. Our governments may not be allies, but at least we share many of the same values. If Broadneck gets the device, we both lose. Agreed. Perhaps our governments can share the power of the device. Do not be alarmed, Jean-Luc. Using the power of the Unity device, I have returned from the future to warn you. Do not trust the aliens. They will betray you and take the device for themselves. Take this artifact. It will help you. Help us. Win the Unity device for the Federation. Picard. Picard, are you with us? Yes, let's get on with it. I think this device generates the force field. We might be able to disable it. The force field will lower when one of us passes this test. What is the test? This table is the apparatus for the second challenge, one of the oldest of the Chodak tests. What is this second challenge? It is a test of stamina and cunning given to Chodak youth. It is used to cull the weak and feeble-minded before resources are wasted on them. How does it work? You will find out once the test begins. That is hardly fair. The Chodak have spent many millennia preparing for this day. I have spent my entire life getting ready to pass these tests. Is it fair that I give up the advantage I have earned? If you are truly the most worthy, then explaining the test to us won't put you at a disadvantage. It will make your inevitable victory all the more noteworthy. Very well. Pick up these semicircular blocks. When it is your turn, place one or both blocks in the receptacles. Picard, your left receptacle targets me. The right one targets Captain Pentara. Then push the button. A jolt of energy will be delivered to one or both of the others. The last one standing passes the test. When will the test begin? Momentarily. It is your turn first, Captain Picard. Give up, Admiral. Pentara and I have agreed to join forces. You cannot withstand both of us. Come now, Picard. The test has barely begun, and you claim victory already? It is your turn, Captain Pentara. We will defeat you, Broadneck. You are both weak. It is your turn, Captain Picard. You're losing, Admiral. If you agree to give up your quest to rebuild the Chodak Empire, we can work together and find another way out of here. You don't understand. Membership in our empire would improve your species. I like my species the way it is. Every Garidian will be dead before the first Shodak steps on Garidian soil. If that's the way you want it. It will be interesting to see which of you falls first. 
is your turn, Captain Picard. You can't win, Brodnak. You have not defeated me yet. We will defeat you, Brodnak. I have sworn to regain the Unity device for my people. It is the destiny of the Chodak race. But I have failed. Before you kill me, promise that you will use the power of the device wisely. I have no desire to kill you, Admiral, but we cannot allow you to rebuild the Chodak Empire by conquest. But our intentions are benign. You would be happier under our leadership. Finish him now, while we have the advantage. Even if we defeat Brodnak here, the Chodak will still have to be dealt with. The Unity device will take care of them. No. Everyone, including the Chodak, must be protected from the misuse of this power. A council representing all civilizations should be created to control the device. We need you to convince your people of that. Will you help us? The thought of untested species using the Unity device is almost unthinkable. But there is wisdom in your words, Picard. I will cooperate. Good. Now let's find a way out of here. How do you intend to disable the force field, Picard? I don't know yet. did not work. The force field appears to emanate from this device. I cannot use this with that. The field energy jumps across the air gap to the field emitter. The field energy must return to this terminal to complete the circuit. The force field energy passes through this coil, out the field emitter, and returns to the common terminal. The force field energy is emitted through this device. The force field appears to emanate from this device. The force field appears to emanate from this device. The lower air gap is larger than the upper air gap. If I can somehow make the lower air gap smaller, the field energy would jump directly to the common terminal and bypass the field emitter entirely. These blocks from the test are metallic, and together they're exactly the right size to fit into the lower air gap. I need all the blocks from the test. Take them. Here. The blocks fit, but it will take all three sets to disable the four. I cannot use this with that. It worked. The field energy has been redirected to the common terminal. There, the force field is down. You humans are resourceful. Now what? I believe that symbol on the pedestal is the key to the door leading to the control center. Use the artifact I gave you, Jean-Luc.
Where are you going? Bring us across too. Can you use the artifact to bring me across, Picard? I don't understand why you brought us across. We agreed to work together. I had assumed that agreement was a compromise you made out of weakness. You had the opportunity to take the Unity device for yourself. Compromise isn't always a sign of weakness, Admiral. It's the basis of trust. That is an unusual concept. I shall ponder it. Greetings, aspirants to the Unity Device. I am your judge. Before you advance any further, you must each tell me why you deserve the device. The Unity Device was created by the Chodak. It is our birthright. Whoever controls the device controls the galaxy. The Gridians deserve it as much as anyone else. I am here to make certain the Unity Device is used for the good of all species. What would you do with the device, Captain Picard? The Unity device should be used for the good of all. What do you consider to be the ultimate good? I don't believe there is one ultimate good, but I do believe that each culture, each individual being has the right to determine what is good for themselves. What good can the Unity device do for Jean-Luc Picard? Perhaps make up for a father's disapproval? A brother's resentment? What do you know about my family? I know all about you. I know a cadet who betrayed the honor code of the Academy. I know a lifetime of regret for a love thrown away from fear. I was young. Those were the mistakes of a youth. What about the mistakes of a man? I know the captain of the Stargazer, his ship destroyed, his dead crew drifting in space. I did the best I could. It was an unprovoked attack. The crew of the Stargazer depended on you and paid with their lives. But that was a small matter compared to your betrayals of the Federation. Betrayals? I know Locutus of Borg, who oversaw the destruction of 39 Federation starships and their crews. I know a broken man ready to give Gul Madred the secrets of the Federation's defenses. Do you think you can use the Unity device to erase a lifetime of betrayal? I wouldn't want to. I have never willingly betrayed anyone or anything in my life. I've acknowledged my failures, learned from them, and moved on. That's the best anyone can do. Failure is an inevitable consequence of being human, and I accept that. Admiral Brodnak, failure is what you fear most, is it not? I have never failed before today. Of course you never failed. You always took the safe, certain path. I consider that a virtue. You do not even know what virtue is. As Master of the Nine Challenges, you condemned countless Chodak for the smallest mistake. Chodak are not allowed to fail. The challenges were meant to improve the Chodak, so that you would be worthy enough to reclaim the Unity device. But instead of mastering yourselves, you merely mastered the challenges. You have wasted a thousand millennia. Perhaps we have dealt with form before substance. However, all meaning resides in form. Substance is but chaff. I cannot even trust my own people to use the Unity device wisely. We must all go together. 
You have proven yourselves worthy. Congratulations! You have proved yourselves worthy of your species. The Unity device is yours. And now that we've got it, what do we do with it? We must contact our governments and inform them of our arrangement. Attention! The Unity device has detected the approach of a Borg invasion fleet. Without intervention, it is estimated that the Borg Collective will destroy Federation, Garidian, and Chodak civilizations within 1.2 years. Use the control panel to select a response to this threat. All right, now, just before I play the actual ending, uh, the, the good guy win, if you will, here is what happens if you choose the wrong answer. We can wipe out their entire fleet at, at the touch of a button? This, this is too easy. The Unity device must never again be used to settle petty political disputes. You have failed. We can no longer hold on to. We are losing this place in time. Captain, are you all right? The rest of the away team were beamed back to the ship hours ago. We're reading a massive energy surge inside the device. It seems to be phasing out of time. Beam me out of here! contact again. We are encountering temporal distortion waves. The energy buildup inside the device is critical. If we do not withdraw... We can't leave without the captain. Help! Plot an escape course, 50% impulse. Transporter room, keep trying to get a lock on the captain. Commander, we cannot escape. Admiral's Log, Stardate 47204.2. We've lost contact with the Enterprise. A large temporal anomaly was detected near her last reported position. I fear that either the Chodak or the Romulans have gained control of the Unity device. I'm dispatching the USS Hood to investigate.
What are you doing, Picard? If we are to share power, we must make decisions together. The Prime Directive of Starfleet prohibits me from interfering with the normal development of any society. The wisdom of that directive has been proven many times. You have chosen wisely. The Unity device must never again be used to settle petty political disputes. You have proven yourselves worthy. Step forward. Who are you? We are the guardians of the device of unity. We are one with the device. Are you the Chodak rebels who sent the device into the future? Yes, and others. You seem tired. We are weak at this time and place. But elsewhere in time, we are strong. Each member of our collective identity anchors a span of time. Without these anchors, the space-time continuum would tear apart into isolated fragments of existence. We need one of you to join us, to become one with the device, and establish an anchor in this time. I will join them. It is my duty. But we agreed to share, pal. There is nothing to share. Our purpose is our own. We do not serve the purposes of others. What is your purpose? You could not truly comprehend unless you joined us. Suffice it to say that in many places throughout this galaxy, there are rifts in the fabric of existence. It is our task to mend them and keep existence unified. Broadnack, Admiral, Master of the Nine Challenges, Bearer of the Fifteenth Shell of the Chodak Empire. Are you ready? I am. Without your help, he who was Broadnack would never have accepted this union. You have our thanks. Farewell. Captain, are you all right? The rest of the away team were beamed back to the ship hours ago. We're reading a massive energy surge inside the device. It seems to be phasing out of time. Beam me out of here! temporal distortion waves. The energy buildup inside the device is critical. If we do not withdraw... We can't leave without the captain. Help! Plot an escape course, 50% impulse. Transporter room, keep trying to get a lock on the captain. Commander, we cannot escape. reports. No serious damage. A few minor injuries. What about the captain? We were not able to... Sir, I am picking up the captain's communicator signal. Sensors are reading life signs. He's okay. Captain's log, stardate 47205.3. The Enterprise has weathered the temporal distortion caused by the disappearance of the Unity device. All that remains are questions. 
Brodnack joined the device to enable it to continue its mission, mending rips in the fabric of existence. If he fails, the consequences could be catastrophic, but somehow I feel certain he will prove equal to the task. I can't help but wonder, if someday the Federation is able to create another Unity device, will we also have the wisdom to use it well? All systems operational, Captain. Very well. Helm ahead, warp factor two. Engage. Thank <laughs> you.